one half cup of iodized table salt, two tablespoons of cream of tartar, and two tablespoons of olive oil or vegetable oil, whatever cooking oil you have. One and a half cups of boiling water. Hello everybody, we are making Play-Doh today. Yes, we're making amazing Play-Doh. All right, so here we go. Flour in the Play-Doh, so we, we get fluffy Play-Doh. All right, that's one cup of flour. And now I have to do two of them. Okay, so two cups of flour. Then what's next, this? Well, you can put the half a cup of salt. Then if, then if we put the half a cup of salt. And that's regular table salt, nothing extraordinary. And then we put this. Yep, that's the cream of tartar. Two tablespoons of cream of tartar. And then I All put the right. oil. And now you can put the oil in. Two tablespoons of just regular kitchen oil, cooking oil. And this is motor oil? No, it's not motor oil. It's a very safe, non-toxic. So we'll just turn no, it it's on. Very, it's very toxic. It's not toxic. All right, and this is a great one to use for... Can I turn it off? Uh, a little bit higher is fine. But you can use the mixer for this one, and you can do it by hand as well, but it's a lot easier with the mixer. All right. So while it's going, what's the next thing we got to put in there? The food coloring. All right. So we put... We got the special gel food coloring, but we're putting this in the water first. So come on over to the stove. Just a few drops. Okay, perfect. That's oh, perfect. That's perfect. That's enough. Whoa. All right. It's a little too much, and it's got to be boiling, so it's almost boiling. And now, can I mix we it? We put it in. Can I in, mix it? Yes, that's fine. We put it in the water instead of just directly into the dough because it makes it a lot easier for cleanup. Well, what's that noise? And what's that noise? It. It's the hot water. It makes it easier for cleanup on the mixer and on your hands. You don't have to knead it in. But if you're going to do multiple colors, then it's better to take it out, divide it, and then put the food color in. And right now, here we go. All right. So now we're going to put this in nice and slow because you don't want it to splash everywhere. It is boiling water. All right. So get a good shot of inside the mixer, MJ. All right. Wait, what is it? Whoa! Alright, that is a really pretty color that's coming out right now. So let's turn it up just a little bit now that the heat is in there. <laughs> Alright, so now... I know it's turning off so you can hear it. Okay, go ahead and turn it off. Can I touch let's, it? Not yet. Let's get this in here. Put it down, put all the flour Whoa, in. is it actually Play-Doh right now? Can I do Not it? Not yet. Okay, now go ahead and turn it on again. And bam. All right. Is that high enough? It goes so fast. Oh down. my! In a couple minutes of mixing, this is what you get. It looks like that. I put down some wax paper just so that way it doesn't stick to the... Table. The table, yes. So here we go. We're going to dump it right now onto the wax paper. Now it just, you just need to literally knead it just for a little bit just like yeah get in there and play with it you're just really truly just mixing it up really good that's how you make play-doh guys so this is how you make play-doh it it's it's easy but it takes a long time and it's non-toxic and your hands are not bright blue because you've mixed it in the water the food coloring in the water first you can put it into the dough, like we said earlier, but your hands, instead of becoming just a little perp, little blue, it would be very, very blue or whatever color you used. All right, you guys, have so, a wonderful... Have a wonderful day, and this is what it looks like when you take it out. Oops. All right. Have a nice day.